أدير ذكرى من أهواه ولو بملامي فإن أحاديث الحبيب مدامي The million pound challenge is a challenge, whichever way you want to swing it, it's not easy. And it wasn't about going out and collecting donations, it's about going out and you yourself get involved in fundraising. When I first heard this, I've never been done fundraising before. So when I put my hand up there and said I'm going to get involved, I was really, then I was like, well what am I going to do now? No, to be honest, when you, when you proposed it, I just dismissed it, that's mm. all. We don't ride road bikes. 11 miles. Not only do people have apprehensions about their own abilities, there's a lot of self-doubt that kicks in and it's natural to have that. It's not easy. You will always face challenges when you go out in the way of Allah and His Messenger. Tremendous challenges. It is a long shot and I had a lot of people say to me in the beginning, look it's a big call. Now you hear all this stuff like, you know, donor fatigue, donor bear, bear now. You know, you carry your teachers with you through um, being a wife, being a mother. So having, you know, witnessed that and being part of that experience gives you that belief that, you know what, this is a, not only a beautiful vision, but it's something that is needed and it will work. And if the e teachers can put the effort in to see a, a vision, it, all I can say to you, it's down to the students to fulfil their requirements. It became clear to me that I needed to just reflect a little bit about this whole project really. As we kind of started to look into it more and, and broke it down into how maybe we could approach it and, and take it on, it did become something that seemed achievable. After the first no day, we were like, okay, mashallah, this is nine and a half thousand. I think Ramadan was just a prime example. In, in about a week, just by word of mouth, we raised 10,000 pounds. I was thinking about it for a long time, and then I thought, this has to be about giving something to people that isn't just in this world, this is something about something in the hereafter as well, and it's about doing something really positive. Me chose on 6,000. MashaAllah. Walk, walk back into our call. Aisha, Allah, 6,250. Fawzia, Allah, 6,300. It's getting this, is it? MashaAllah. What you'll find is the generosity of the Muslims to a very specific cause, to something that, inshallah, they can see the vision in. They snap it up. And then, you know, the people just rallied and just like got behind the whole thing and before we know it, I'd, I'd raised it to £50,000. It was a bit amb ambitious but I thought let's just go for it. So those all little strengths coming up with maybe a car boot sale here, we'll do a pack here, we'll do a walk here, all of those things come together, they make yeah, that big amount. Yeah. So that's given us the impetus to think, actually we, we can do yeah. another 10. But the fact that the sword sold for over £20,000, that was in a sense beyond our wildest dreams. Visibility is very minimal. We're currently at 1,175 feet elevation above the Loch Ness. You okay? You fell off your bike. But as long as you and you have that reliance, that tawakkul upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and keep reminding yourself of how the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Ahl al Bayt, the Prophet, has all the companions how they carried on in the face of challenges. My, per, my personal opinion is we're not going to, we shouldn't have a target and we're just going to carry on and on and on until we run out of time at the end of this Islamic year.